Yeah, I, and then like for Selena Gomez, good for you. Everything was fine. It was just three writers yeah. to start me and my main co-writer, Julia Michaels, and the producer, Nick Monson. Well, then they needed a radio version, so they brought in another producer, which the radio version became the main version. But how, why does the <laughs> producer get writing on that thing? Because so for this, now what, what happens a lot of times too is, is like the way the new pop system is set up, well, it's r- producers started to get publishing in – like when hi- when hip hop started to happen, okay. because they would make these beats that yes. were like there, you know, in 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 rap, which I'm a huge fan of. There is no melody, so yeah. the beat and the words are pretty much all you're dealing with. There's right. no melody anymore. So like these guys who are making the beat were like, I need right. fucking publishing. This yeah, is my song. Like yeah, there's yeah. there's no music here unless there's sure. me. There's only your words and you'd beat and you know, snaps sure. or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So that's when it started happening and things started changing. So producers are now in the writing session okay. for the most part. Unless in country, it's still just like two or three songwriters sure. in a room. Then you bring a producer in to finish the record, blah, blah. So, right. so yeah, good for you was that. But then we brought in Aesop Rocky and Aesop Rocky um, had someone change the beat under his verse. And so that one got really messy too. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Uh, but also you're just trying to be respectful. You want everyone to feel like excited like they're about it. Care of. They're taking yeah. care of. So it got really messy. But then, but normally it can be pretty fucking easy where it's just like, you know, whoever's in the room, you just split everything equally. Whoever yeah. was in the room for when the song was written is equal. Like, you know, we probably could have written good for you on just the piano, but like he had like the really sexy synth chords and like yeah. the, the dark 808s and the snaps, which uh-huh. really gets you in the mood. So also it really does help having the, the producer writer in the room because like after like an hour, like you kind of know what the fucking song sure. is. Right? Of course yeah. they're going to work on the details for a while, yeah. but like you're like, okay, this is the song. So you can even be like, you know, I work a lot with Interscope and, I can be in the Interscope studios where you came. Yeah. And their offices are across the street. Like a couple hours into the session, you can call the AR executive over and be like, yo, come listen to it. And like he'll know what the song is. So it's, you know, like Selena Gomez is a great example. Selena knew who the fuck she was and mm-hmm. what she wanted to sound like. Mm-hmm. And so her and Aaron Bayshuck would have the conversations about He's what the, her AR person yep, about what it would be. And then he would go look for the songs. And then when it was time for her, when she wanted to get involved in the writing process, he would find the right sessions for her. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just kind of, you know, it's like an interesting job. It's like you're, it's like you, it's a executive job to help the sure. artist execute their vision. Right. I think back in the day, it was like you were either an artist who wrote or you weren't. And now mm. I think, which is cool. There's like a little bit of both. Like Selena is, is, is becoming a really strong writer and mm-hmm. she knows, ex- she always has known since I've met her, which was about a year and a half ago. She always knows what she wants to say, mm-hmm. but now we're writing with her more and more and like. This bitch is killing it. And it's really cool to be a part of that process. But mm. you, everyone has to leave their ego at the door in, in that moment. You know what I mean? Like she needs to be able to feel comfortable because she does have something to say. Her, she does. Her life story is, this is not a normal experience that she's experiencing. No. Yeah. And so like she should talk about it. 